Hello everyone, welcome to our first lesson in fluid mechanics. In this video, we will learn the important physical properties of fluids. These are the mass density, unit weight, and specific gravity. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel. One of important specifications to determine whether a matter will float or sink in a liquid or gas is by knowing its density. Density or mass density is defined as the mass of liquid per unit volume. Let's say you have an experiment and the goal is to determine the mass density of water. You use a 1 liter empty container that weighs 200 grams. Then you decided to fill it with water and record its total mass. So you recorded a total of 1.2 kilograms. So you get the mass of the water by subtracting the mass of the container which is 200 grams or 0.2 kilogram from the total mass. Therefore, you have the mass of the water which is 1 kilogram. We can say then that a 1 liter of water weighs and will always weigh 1 kilogram. Therefore, we can say that a mass density answers how much a matter, whether a solid, liquid, or a gas, weighs for every unit of its volume. Most commonly, mass density is represented by a symbol rho and can be computed using the formula rho equals to mass over volume. The unit of mass density is lags per cubic foot for English and kilogram per cubic meter for SI. When you get the reciprocal of this formula, you would have the formula for specific volume which measures the volume occupied by a unit mass of fluid. For your reference, water, the most common liquid, has a mass density of 1 kilogram per 1 liter and 1,000 kg per 1 cubic meter for SI or 1.94 slugs per cubic foot for English unit. Mercury, on the other hand, has a mass density of 13,600 kg per cubic meter, which is heavier compared to water and that will sink when placed into water, while oil has a mass density of more or less 800 kg per cubic meter lighter than water and that will definitely float when placed into water. Unit weight or specific weight is the weight of liquid per unit volume. The weight of a liquid can be computed by multiplying its mass by the gravitational acceleration, 9.81 meter per square second for SI or 32.2 feet per square second for English. Unit weight is represented by the symbol gamma and can be computed using the formula gamma equals to weight of the liquid over the volume of the liquid. The unit weight can be computed directly by multiplying the mass density by the gravitational acceleration. Like for example, we know that water has a mass density of 1000 kg per cubic meter. By multiplying it by 9.81 meter per square second, we have the unit weight equals to 9,810 newton per cubic meter. The unit becomes newton since kilogram times meter per square second gives us the unit newton. Or we can simplify the unit weight into 9.81 kilonewton per cubic meter. And that is in SI. That means a 1 cubic meter of water weighs 9.81 kilonewton. Now for English unit, we have 62.4 pound per cubic foot. To quantify whether an object will float or sink into a liquid, we have what we call specific gravity. Specific gravity is the ratio of the density of a liquid to the density of a referenced liquid. Commonly, we use water as the referenced liquid as we always want to know how other liquid behave once placed into water. Specific gravity is given as the mass density of the liquid over mass density of water, 
or the unit weight of the liquid over the unit weight of water. Obviously, from this formula, we have the specific gravity of water always equal to 1. If the specific gravity of the liquid is lesser than 1, that means that it is lighter than water and it will definitely float when placed into water. If the specific gravity of the liquid is greater than 1, it means it is heavier than water and definitely will sink when placed into water. Let's try to solve an example. We have the first problem. A 200 cubic centimeter of oil weighs 164 grams. Compute the letter A, mass density of oil in kilogram per cubic meter, letter B, unit weight of oil in kilonewton per cubic meter, and letter C, the specific gravity of oil. Since we are asked to compute for the mass density in terms of kilogram per cubic meter, we need to convert the values. We know that in 1 kilogram, we have 1,000 grams. So we multiply 164 grams by 1 kilogram over 1,000 grams. We can cancel the unit grams and the remaining unit is kilogram. So we have the mass equals to 0 0.164 kilogram. For the volume, we have the conversion 1 cubic meter is equivalent to 1 times 10 raised to the 6 or 1 million cubic centimeter. Thus, we multiply this to 200 cubic centimeter. We have the equivalent volume to cubic meter which is 2 ten thousandths or 0 0.0002 cubic meter. Or you can express it as 2 times 10 raised to negative 4 cubic meter. We are done converting the values to kilogram and cubic meter respectively. Then we use the mass density formula rho equals to mass over volume. Therefore, we have 0 0.164 kilogram over 2 times 10 raised to negative 4 cubic meter. So we have the mass density of oil equals to 820 kilogram per cubic meter. And that is our answer for question letter A. Now for the unit weight, we multiply 820 kilogram by the gravitational acceleration 9.81 meter per square second. Unit weight equals to 8044.2 newton per cubic meter or 8.044 kilonewton per cubic meter. Lastly, for the specific gravity, we will use the water as our reference liquid. You can use either the mass density or the unit weight in the formula. Let's use unit weight first. We know that the specific gravity formula is the unit weight of the liquid over the unit weight of water. So we have 8.044 kilonewton per cubic meter divided by the unit weight of water which is 9.81 kilonewton per cubic meter. So we have the specific gravity equals to 0 0.82. If we try to use mass density, we would have specific gravity equals to 820 kilogram per cubic meter over the mass density of water equals to 1,000 kg per cubic meter, which gives us 0 0.82. This is less than 1, therefore, oil will definitely float once placed into water. For our second example, sea water has a specific gravity 1.03. Compute the letter A, the mass density of the sea water in English and SI unit, Letter B, unit weight of seawater in English and SI unit. And lastly, the mass of 3 liters of seawater. For our first question, the mass density of seawater, since we only have specific gravity as our given, we will use the formula specific gravity equals to the density of liquid over the density of water. By cross-multiplying, we would have the density of liquid is equal to specific gravity times the density of water. So therefore, we have the specific gravity 1.03 
times the mass density of water in SI which is 1000 kg per cubic meter. Since we use SI in the mass density of water, so this would give us the density of water in terms of SI2, which is also equal to 1030 kg per cubic meter. For English unit, we use the mass density of water which is 1.94 slugs per cubic foot. Thus, the mass density of our seawater in terms of English unit is equal to 1.9982 slugs per cubic foot. For our second question, the unit weight of seawater. We use the formula of specific gravity which is equal to the unit weight of liquid over the unit weight of water. Therefore, we have the formula, the unit weight of liquid is equal to the specific gravity times the unit weight of water. This gives us 1.03 times the unit weight of water in SI, which is 9.81 kN per cubic meter. This would give us the unit of SI for the unit weight of our seawater. So, therefore, the unit weight of our seawater is equal to 10.10 kN per cubic meter. And that is in terms of SI unit. Now, for English unit, we use 62.4 pound per cubic foot as the unit weight of water. Thus, this gives us 64.27 pound per cubic foot as the unit weight of our seawater. For our last question, the mass of a 3 liter of seawater. We just simply use the formula for density which is rho is equal to mass over volume. We have computed the density of seawater which is 1030 kg per cubic meter. Now take note our volume is in terms of liter that is 3 liters. So let's convert it first into cubic meter. We know that 1,000 liter is equivalent to 1 cubic meter. So therefore, 3 liter is equivalent to 0 0.003 cubic meter. So we use the value for our volume by cross-multiplying. We have the mass of a 3 liter of water which is equal to 3.09 kilogram. And that ends this lesson. For more videos, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Thank you for listening.